Hey Sassy Squad, it's Sasha. Today I'm going to be doing a how to start a successful YouTube channel and I bet you guys were excited when you saw the um, title of the video. I did do a video like this before, uh, like a while ago, but it was way too long and I couldn't, like myself, I couldn't even sit through like my own talking so like if I can't sit through it then probably you guys can't. Um, so I deleted that one before I started filming this, but anyway, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first two most asked or like most frequent questions I've been getting, the first one is what camera do I use? And it's a pretty long name, I have it written down. I think it is, well, I don't think, I know it is. Um, the camera I use is the Canon Vixia, um, it's the HR and then R52 camcorder, 57x advanced, zoom, comes with Wi-Fi, I know it's long, I'll link it down below, um, but I am saving up for the uh, Canon 70D with the 18-55mm to 55 millimeter lens. Um, and then the next uh, question I get, the second question and the last question is what editing software do I use? And I use Final Cut Pro. Uh, you can download it on any Mac computer and it's on the Apple Store online. Um, but it is $300, but I saved up for it. It is expensive. But I am totally in love with it. You just have to make sure that you want to continue your YouTube videos before you get Final Cut Pro because it is a commitment to getting a very expensive software to edit with. So if you're really into the editing and you want to take time doing it, then I recommend that for you guys. But when I started YouTube, I used iMovie, which is also amazing, but Final Cut Pro is more like the advanced version of iMovie. Um, and I absolutely love Final Cut Pro X. It's just the best. I think that rhymed. What am I even talking about right now? Okay, let's move on. Um, okay, so this is how, so the first thing you have to do is come up with your name for your channel. I recommend something that describes you, um, and something that is catchy. You could change your name, but I recommend not doing that because people get to know you. People get to know you for what your YouTube channel name is. Um, like I'm, a, like I'm Sassy Sasha Rocks 13, and I would, and I would not change my name for anything. Make sure that you make the name something that you like and something that you want people to know you as. So now that you have your YouTube name created, it's time to make your profile picture, and your YouTube banner. I know, fancy, right? <laughs> so I recommend making a profile picture that describes you and what your channel is about. So this right here, or if it pops up on either side, this is what my profile picture is at the moment. I am going to change it. I know that for sure, but I just don't know when. Um, I maybe have an idea? No, not yet. Um, but I am going to change it eventually. Um, you don't have to do something as intense as that, um, but just keep in mind that your profile picture is the first thing um, that people see when they click on your channel. As for my YouTube banner, I use PicMonk. I have a little life hack for you guys. So it can be hard to create the right size of your banner and I know I struggle with that so much. To be completely honest, I looked up on YouTube how to create my channel banner. And that took me about like, I don't know, three hours or something to make like the whole entire thing. And after that, I was, what I was like, yas, yas. Okay. What you need to do is just go to Google and type in a YouTube channel banner. And then, um, and then... And drag the first one to your desktop and then upload it to PicMonkey and then use the darker part of the um, template and add any text or overlays or whatever floats your boat. 
Just letting you know, the banner is the first thing that people see when they click on your channel, and that's the thing that catches their eye. Like, um, this is really bad, but I don't know if it's completely bad, but like when I first started YouTube, I was like, oh wow, their banner is amazing. I'm subscribing to them. Don't, don't do that, but I actually really like the person's video, so that's good. So now that you've got all the basics down, it's time to create your first video. So you can do whatever you'd like for your first video. I'll give you some ideas. You can do a get to know me tag. You can do a makeup tutorial, a very simple makeup tutorial. I know Bethany Moda did that. She did like a, oh wait, no. I think Makeup by Mandy 24 did like a smoky eye makeup tutorial or something. I don't know, but you could do something simple like that. Um, you could do, I don't know, a fashion video. You could do a what's on my iPhone or what's on my purse or whatever you guys want. Just be confident and be happy and just be you um, because people would much rather want to listen to someone and see someone who is being themselves rather than someone who is not being themselves because, I mean, I could tell when someone's not being themselves and I wouldn't really want to subscribe to them because I don't really know who they really are. Um, and it takes time to get used to the camera. It took, it took me a while, but now it feels so normal for me. Like, I'm just talking to, like, over a thousand of you. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm talking to my family right now. You guys are just, like, so amazing to me. I'm rambling right now, but I'm just letting you guys know that I'm so comfortable in front of the camera, but it does take a while. Um... Now for making your thumbnail, which is the first thing they see when they um, click on the video. You need to make certain that the thumbnail describes what your video is going to be. Because it would be kind of weird if like, or awkward if there was, I don't know, um, a video that was called a makeup tutorial and it was completely different. That would just be not too good. Um, and... Of course, I use PicMonkey to edit my thumbnails. Um, now let me tell you some other fun things about YouTube. It's making YouTube friends, and I'm so blessed for all the friends I made on YouTube. I, well, fun fact, actually, I have a friend, her name is Rachel, also known as um, Pink Froggy, and we were friends before... Uh, we were both on YouTube, like I started mine first and then she started it, and then we we're like even closer because we could relate to like video and stuff. Um, and that's another awesome part, like you, it's really nice to have YouTube friends because you could relate to like making videos and stuff and it's, it's really cool. Um, and you could also do collaborations with them and I've also gotten closer to another friend. I've known her probably maybe like a little like the beginning of my channel. Her name is Kimmy Wang and I will just put all their profile pictures like around my face right now. Um, and then I met some other cool people and I'll just put all their profile pictures around my face. Um, but before you meet them, like, I mean, I didn't meet um, Kimmy yet, but I will. To make sure before you meet them that they're legit and that they're your age or maybe a little younger, maybe a, like a year older or two years older, I don't know. But make sure that, like, you FaceTime them or text them and that they're legit and, a, and not some old person. Um... But it's so much fun to collaborate with people and and just to have someone you could relate to with that. Now, definitely make sure that you're not making YouTube videos just for the money. Just for the money or fame because people won't be able to tell if you're just making videos for the fame. Um... Now, I definitely don't believe that I am a super popular YouTube, and I don't believe that I'm a big deal. Maybe you guys do. If you do, then thank you. But, um, no, I don't believe that, like, I'm a big thing on YouTube yet. Um, no, just kidding. 
but you definitely should not make YouTube videos just for the fame because if you do that, you will not really get anywhere, if that makes any sense. Like, um, you won't really get anywhere for a while if you're just, for a long, long time if you're just doing it for the money. But, um, and I am definitely not doing it for the money. I love it so much. I'm doing it just for fun and it's great. Um, and just letting you know, it takes time to get subscribers. Um, after my first video, I only had like, or after a couple of videos, I only had like 40 or 50 subscribers. Um, and after a few months, I got like 100 and 500. But the point is that, is that it, but the point is, is that it takes time to get your subscribers or to gain them. Um, I now have about 1,300 and... 56 subs, uh, 50, yeah, one th uh, over 1,000, let's just say. Um, I have over 1,000 sassy squatters, and I am so thankful for that. My goal is to get 2,000 in 2016. Just telling you guys. Um, just giving you a little hint there. And for the giveaways, just to know once in a while to, like, give back to your subscribers and to say thank you. But you absolutely do not have to do any giveaways on your channel. I mean, I do because I just love you guys so much and I'm giving back to you guys, as I said. But you absolutely do not have to. And I think that just covers the whole um, how to start a successful YouTube channel. If you have any other questions, then leave them down below in the comments. And I will be super happy to answer them for you guys. Um, and yeah, I guess that covers everything. So if you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get me to 2,000 subscribers in 2016. Um, and yeah, okay. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. And I also forgot to mention I have a vlog channel and that will be in the description below. Um, and... Yeah, okay, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I love you so, so much, and yeah, bye. Mwah.